हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड व्यूअर्स नमस्ते जी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल डिवाइन एस्ट्रोलॉजी ऑफ हेमंत टुडे वी आर गोइंग विथ कंटिन्यूअल टॉपिक ऑफ दशा प्रोग्रेशन एंड जुपिटर प्रोग्रेस नॉट ट्रांसिट इट इज प्रोग्रेस सो लेट मी सैर द प्रीवियस फाइल फर्स्ट हियर इट इज Previously we have discussed this. जामित्री भवने सूर्य दशाएं मध्य घंटे के स्वाभिता राज्य संवादम विवाह उत्सव संब्रमा. So in the middle of the sun dasha there will be a marriage ceremony and. father will get honor from government raj sanman now this is sagittarius ascendant this loka is given for sagittarius ascendant where sun is in jamitri bhavan in seventh house so this is dasha progression or you may say that in the middle of the sun dasha sun has the dasha period of 6 years we saw that dasha here so sun will come here in sagittarius dasha and at that time vivah samprama means there will be a marriage related activities whether marriage will fructify or not it is another thing but marriage activities will be there so the jataka is busy getting married so according to this this is second marriage so you have to see from venus also so sun progresses six months in each zodiac sign up to 12 so here sun is progressing to from gemini cancer leo virgo each at 6 month libra scorpio and sagittarius so this will be the middle and for first marriage sun progress will be in sagittarius sagittarius uh, uh jupiter progression will be in sagittarius why this is when then sandasha comes sandasha will come at 31st year uh 25 yeah means 26 years 25 years and 6 months to 31 years to and 6 months so at this point sandasha will be here at somewhere at 29 years and jupiter progress will be in aries so aspecting <clears throat> seventh house seventh lord or from venus ninth house ninth lord for second marriage this is that now seventh house is not only <clears throat> marriage it is also relationship it is also uh, conception pregnancy it is also seen for that and venus is stands for concepts and relationship minus mars so from that ascendant karaka ascendant also you can take seventh house in sagittarius ascendant chart seventh house taken from sun okay and seventh house is taken from venus also and ninth house for second marriage you can also take from karaka so here now we are taking practical chart okay so for this practical chart seventh house is taken for conception it is very interesting you have to see that when the questions come to you uh you have to calculate mentally quickly so for this 
only i have said many times practice this on practical charts calculate it calculate it manually so that you can understand the whole prudence whole logic of the dictum and you can predict accordingly you have to predict on the basis of satyanukul method so this is based on the dictum given in chandrakala so this lady asked at 31st year about pregnancy expectation 31st year so 31st year is from jupiter 31st year is 7th house so capricorn sign now Saturn Dasa started in October 20. So at the 31st year, Saturn Dasa progress is also in Capricorn. Jupiter progress will also be Capricorn. So from Venus also it is 7th house, Capricorn. So 7th house and 7th house, Natal 7th house and 7th house is sudden, Capricorn sign. So Dasa progression and Jupiter progression, both together, aspecting 7th house of conception and 7th floor of conception, Capricorn Saturn. So in this way, you can say that, oh, yes, expected pregnancy is possible. Now, when dasa progression is given, why it is given to narrow down? Okay, Saturn dasa or Saturn uh, period is Saturn dasa is longest, longer period. Dasa progression is shorter, 19 months, 19 years, 19 months, and then Jupiter progress is one year. So, again, you may see the Karaka, progression of monthly transits. Karaka, Venus, Mars, Sun. Okay, either of them. Yes, you can take Mars also. You may take uh, Venus also. So, this way you may narrow down for further. I have not explained it. I have Mota Mota Liya. So, Samajh Nekele Kafe. So this is a short video, how you can apply the sub progression to various charts. Another chart is also there. Yes, this is uh, about marriage. The same one. Here, also we, we will discuss this here. Also. So this is second chart for marriage, getting married. Jatika is seeing many prospective boys for marriages, but nothing rectified at 38 years. So, but naturally, here, Saturn Dasa is there, started in February 2016. So, possibly, Saturn Dasa will progress, will progress in Pisces side. Its depositor is Jupiter posited in 7th house. Dasa progression. This is. Now, coming to Jupiter progression. At 38 years, Jupiter progression will be on Rahu. So it will create illusion. Sambramam. So, in this year, 38 years, Marriage may not be fructified, though the Jatika will be busy seeing uh, some boys are negotiating. But at 31st year, she might be get married. Because 31st year, progress Jupiter will be in Capricorn. 7th house from Jupiter or Sun is 
Capricorn its lord is sun uh, sorry saturn posited in capricorn so everything dasha progression jupiter progression both these facts are connecting with marriage so marriage means fructifies the so this is a small video but very interesting you have to see basically dasha progression to be tallied with jupiter progression and the house and its lord you are looking for so this is very interesting and good how to apply dasha progression to be synchronized with jupiter progression so thanks for watching namaste ji kindly like my video please subscribe to my channel that is my humble request thanks nirgunen sambhavaru kalyanamastu